So this is gonna be our next project. A sneak peek on our next project. <laughs> there you go. What's up guys, JP here and uh, welcome to another DIY session and um, I hope you're doing fine and uh, for today we are going to talk about creation. Uh, this is uh, also an answer to the question of or to the request of a uh, viewer who is Hazel Shokot. Uh, she is asking more on about how to build a DIY filter and a DIY pump but and, uh, you might want to check it out uh, it's all about DIY air pump but today um, I'm going to show you a uh, DIY filter and we will talk about more uh, on uh, the filtration system of my fish tank take a look Before building your own filters, we need first to understand what are the components of a filtration system. A filtration system is basically composed of three components which are your mechanical filter, biological filter, and chemical filter. In a mechanical filter, fish waste, uneaten food, and decaying plant matters usually are being filtered not to go back to your fish tank. In my own system, I use two types of mechanical filter. The first mechanical filter is the radial flow settler or I call it solids filter. This is where the fish waste goes as a filter to retain the solids wherein water will go up the clean water will go up and goes to the second mechanical filter in this chamber i use sponge to further filter the leftover from the solids filter like the bits and pieces of the fish waste so that they will be trapped and will not go further to other filters and go back to the fish tank Next will be your biological filter. The beneficial bacteria builds up in the filter media as ammonia and oxygenated water passes through. Through the help of the filter media, beneficial bacteria breaks down ammonia into harmless nitrogen. After passing through the mechanical filter, the water filtered will enter the biological filter or the Rax filter wherein the beneficial bacteria will remain or the good bacteria will remain in the rocks so that clean water will go back to your fish tank. And lastly, your chemical filter. Using activated carbon, harmful elements are removed like copper, chlorine, dissolved proteins, and carbohydrates. It also helps or aids absorb odors and make your water more cleaner. Since I don't have activated carbon as my filter media, I made a DIY sponge filter for my fish tank. This also aids in cleaning the water or make it more clearer and filters other debris inside your fish tank. In setting up your own filters, you need first to make a layout plan for the design and setup for your filtration.
To be practical, go over your house and look for available materials so that save a lot from the expenses of doing your own filter. Now that you have the materials needed, start working according to your design. I don't have a drill to make a hole so I made use of a soldering iron because it's the only available tool in our house. Carefully fit the pipes in the bucket. Make sure not to damage the plastic to avoid replacement. Also prepare the materials for the filter media just like this one. Uh, I have here my rocks, crushed rocks, lava rock, and some pebbles. And this is now my DIY filtration system that I made out of available materials from the house. Thanks, Hazel, for uh, asking uh, or clarifying those uh, topics for the filtration. And I hope I have helped in your uh, build up of your own filtration for your setup. Guys, and there you go the DIY filter and uh, filtration system that I have in uh, my own house. And I hope you have learned something out of it. And uh, I hope to see you on the next video. Don't forget to subscribe on my channel. See you.